We're here at the Farm Progress Show in Regina, joined by Kurt Lucia of Freeform Plastic Products. It's actually a division of Borgo. Yes, it is. And uh, this is the Chembine. Can you tell us about uh, the Chembine, how it's different from some of the other chem handlers and mixers? So this is a brand new product, brand new product line for us. With some of the innovative features that we have done is we've added a new knife block and a better agitation system than anything else seen on the market. One of the first things we've done, if you, if you see a picture of it later, we maybe could blow it up. We could put, uh, so it, it has a square shaped uh, cutting apparatus, which only comes into contact with the jug in two places. This lowers the amount of force. It actually makes it twice as easy to, to cut and provides you a better draining on the bottom of your tanks. So it, it cuts easier, it drains better, and then uh, not only that is when you go to pull it off, it actually removes from the knife block quite a bit easier. Another thing we've done uh, inside this tank is we've, we've locked the tank into the stand with these uh, vertical ribs. That's what it does on the outside, but on the inside, the vertical ribs uh, add for the agitation. So if you pictured yourself, you know, you're going to repaint the fence. You go and you open up uh, an old can of paint and it's all dissolved out and you got a nice cream color on top and you have a white solid on the bottom. You take your, white, your, your wood stir stick, you don't just put it in and then spin it and stir it. You put it in, you spin it up to speed, and then you backplate it. And it's that backplating is where you get the mixing. The ribs on the inside of this tank do the backplating. This is going to become more and more important as years go by because more and more people are going to, uh, solid, uh, are going to solid particulate. Mm -hmm. So solids, chemicals you could buy last year in liquid are now in solid form and producers are having the issues of how do I deal with this, how do I handle the products that much easier. So what about the rest of the, the unit here with the pump? The pump comes with it? Pump comes with it. You can get it with or without. Uh, with it, the pump we've gone with is a wet, uh, a wet seal pump offered by Banjo. It has a uh, six and a half horsepower Honda engine, so good engine, good pump. The wet seal allows you to run the pump dry, so for short periods of time you can sit it to the off position or if you run out of water, you're not going to destroy your pump. Uh, also, all of the valves on this have been raised up, so there's less, uh, it's better ergonomically, so you don't have to bend over nearly as much to operate the valves. This valve here that you're going to be uh, operating every time you, you uh, use the jug rinse is much higher. You can notice I don't have to bend over as much. If it's lower down, if you're doing 100 jugs a day, every time you're going to be bending over to operate it. Just little things like that. On this side, in order, we have our Vortex Agitation, which does the cycling. This one is your rotary rinse for, the, for rinsing out the entire uh, chembine tank. And this bottom one here is your bulkhead rinse. So in order are the ones you're going to use more often to least often. So the more common stuff is easier to get to, and it's just that much more ergonomic. So going back to the, the blade, how yep. long has it been since we've seen a, a change in, in that? I think it's been about 25 years. There really hasn't been much innovation on the side of, uh, of the jug splitting. This, this new one, it, it, it blew me away. When we put it through testing, and it started to perform twice as good as anything else on the market, draining better, draining easier, cutting easier, pulling off easier, like you can see there in the video in the background. It was a nice, uh, I measured from that black line to black line, from top to full, was 2.8 seconds, and it still drained out quite quickly after that, that final black line. Uh, some of the other competitors, ones that we've measured at the same drop height, same liquid, same jug, was upwards of 6.2 seconds. So I was, I was quite impressed when we saw that. So all about cutting time, filling the sprayer efficiently. Yeah, saving time and saving money. Perfect. Thanks for your time, Kirk. Thank you. For the rest of the show. You too.